Hello. So, I was trying to contact a friend to tell her a story, um, and it failed really bad. Um, nothing we tried worked. So, this is my way of telling her my story. Um, ignore my look right now. I look dead. I feel dead. Um, so, I had a very interesting day. I have a really awkward sunburn. Um, I don't know if you can tell how red I am, but like, I'm red here, and like, there's like this one line where I'm not, and then another line where I'm not. So, um, it was bad. Um, so I went riding today. Um, good news, uh, and slightly bad news, sad, I guess. Um, I'm switching barns to one that's more of a show barn. Um, I found a trainer there that I really, really liked. Well, like, and she's so awesome. I am so happy to have her. Um, she puts up with me really well, <laughs> and she's very nice. And I think she will help me achieve my goals. Um, and right now I think we're looking for a horse for me. So, yeah. Um, I rode a horse named Cory, whom I love to death. And, yeah. One second. Just telling my friend it's okay, she feels bad. Um, anyway. So, I rode Cory today, and I ended up getting really dehydrated. Like, I really thought I was gonna pass out. Um... We were at the wash dolls, and I just kept drenching my head and my wrists, because you have, like, that this artery, and it, it cools you down really fast. You do both wrists, but it wasn't helping me get hydrated. So, I literally, I couldn't see straight. I told my friend, I'm like, Kristen, I can't see straight. I really don't feel good. And I felt like such a drama queen, but I was like, Kristen, can you take me to the office? So she took me to the office of that barn, and sat me down and stuff and like people were like looking at me weird like it was just awkward but like by the time I got to the barn everything like there was no contrast in my sight all I could see was just bright it was everything was just bright I saw a few horses and I saw a few people moving but I couldn't really see them I just saw like bright 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 and then dark spots and that was it it was really scary actually but I was lucky, I got some Snapple, I got some gumdrop, I don't even like gumdrop, but I had to have one, because it was like instant sugar, and just good, um, for my body, so, like the horse freak I am, even though I was half passed out, I went on a trail ride, which actually went pretty well, but I felt bad, and my friend was also not feeling good, and my horse decided, I'm gonna go fast now, and her horse followed, and she felt sicker, so I felt bad, but then we went to, um, Outback, after, and our waiter, I liked him personally. My friends were a little jerky about it. He, we were like the obnoxious people. I felt everyone was staring at us, and I felt really awkward. And I'm like the kid that gets embarrassed really easy. And it was just like weird, <laughs> to be frankly honest. It, it was it was just weird, and I um just felt awkward, and people were staring at me and. But the waiter, I guess, liked me better than my friends because he kept smiling at me. And every time he would give us a check or food or anything, he'd always come over to me first. So, that felt good. Um, he was pretty nice too, but, like, my friends, like, like you know, it was our friend's birthday, she raised our hand. She need, we needed candles and we wanted them to sing to her. And the guy, because we had already had a cake, my friend made, like, this really awesome tie dye cake. So... The guy, like as soon as she was like, excuse me, and then we all kind of started giggling, just like, I don't really know why, we just did like, we're girls, it happened. And the guy gave us a look and just turned around and just ignored us after, because I think he thought we were just being jerks. And I was like, excuse me, I was like, I am so sorry, but we really do, you know, need some assistance. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, big, no, don't worry about it, like, it's no big deal. My friend was giving him a dirty look, but I was like, it's not his fault, like, he can refuse us assistance like for him it doesn't really matter like if we're being jerks he's allowed to refuse us assistance um so he 
thank God he was nice to me. And then uh, he went over and we're like, you know, it's our friend's birthday and we brought a cake and he was like, do you want me to sing? It kind of like, like smirking at me, like smiling. And I was like, well, I was hoping. And he just started laughing and agreed and brought the cake in the back. They brought them out like candles and stuff. And But then they thought it was my birthday, so they gave me the cake. And I was like, no, 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 no. It's hers, it's hers. And we gave it to like our friend. So we sang happy birthday to her and my friends kept throwing cake at me. and Yeah. But it was nice. It was fun, I guess. And I have depression, so I crash really bad after happy days. So I was really nervous. And when we were going home, the scariest thing of my life, or one of the, definitely one of my top three, I never want to live it again moments, was, um, like, we were going down this road right near my house, and we saw a fire truck. And, you know, the first thing that you think of is, please don't go to my house. Even though, you know, there's probably slim chance, you know, that they're going to go to your house. All things okay, please don't go to my house. We're driving. Turns the way we're going to turn. Oh, okay, just a coincidence. All of a sudden, it turns down my block. And I'm thinking, oh my god, please don't be in my house. You know, with my grandparents who are, are almost in their 80s. And my dog. And please don't be my neighbors who... I absolutely adore. All of a sudden, we're on my block and it just stops. I literally, my body starts shaking because after my cousin's boyfriend killed himself and after that, my biggest fear is losing someone that I care about all over again. Because that hit me harder than I can ever tell you. And mostly after um, Maddie... And, you know, leaving the barn is very hard for me, even though I'm going to try my best not really to show it, because my videos are very depressing enough most of the time, and I don't want to bring anyone down. The reason I make these videos is just to have fun, I guess, and just to show how I see things. And, um, but yeah. And, I mean, this was my biggest fear come true. I was, and it was foggy up ahead. Oh, like, I would, my friend's like, is it just me or is it foggy? And I'm like, oh my god. Like, no. Oh my god, no. And I just kept saying that over and over and over until my friend reached over, grabbed my shoulder and said, Alex, it's okay. Breathe. Breathe. It's gonna be okay. I was so scared. I was shaking. I could barely walk. They got me out of their car and they both held my hand. We walked around. Like, they held my hands like, just to hold me up. Because I was shaking that bad. The point where I felt like I was gonna fall over. And, I mean, I was so scared. I don't think I've really been that scared before in my life. And, um, we went across the street to my house, and we're just staring. And I see everyone in that house besides my neighbor, whom I've known since I was three years old. And I can't say we're close, because we're really not. But, like, he's still, like, very important to me. Um, and... I mean, like, I was really worried. I was like, I see everyone but him. I was like, I see everyone but him. And I was really freaking out. I'm like, I can't, like, I hope he's, she's like, where is my friend's like, is he in the uh, upstairs or downstairs? And there were firefighters going in the downstairs. We were lucky because we didn't see fire. The house wasn't, like, destroyed. My friends were so scared of me seeing something that would make me freak out. They had their hands like this around my eyes just so I couldn't see. And I mean, I was just that terrified. And, um, if this thing turns off on me, I'm sorry, but this is long. Um, but, I mean, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. And I saw my neighbor's mother, and I went, like, walking down the street. I mean, I was kind of pacing, like, not pacing, like, racing to her, but she was talking with my other neighbors, like, um, one of the, my neighbor, my other neighbor's daughters. And I haven't seen this girl in a very long time, too, so for me, I mean, I, I was so, like, in a rush that I wasn't even really paying attention to her. She was looking at me like, I haven't seen you in a while, but I was like, so out of it. And I was like, is everything okay? And she's like, oh no, it's just, you know, the the oil burner and something. And I was so relieved. I was like, oh my God. And she gave me a lot of money for my graduation, like very generous gift. And 
of course, you know, I'm an idiot, and I take that time to thank her. And she's like, oh, you're like second family. At that moment, I was just like, oh. <laughs> and then I kind of realized why I cared so much. Even though, I mean, I hate caring this much. Like, sometimes I wish I just didn't care at all. But when you see, like, fire trucks at your neighbor's house and an ambulance and police cars, the worst is probably passing through your head because I was so scared. I mean, I don't think I've ever been scared in my life. And all I'm thinking is, no, if anyone's hurt, I know what I'm going to do. If anyone's hurt, I'm going to freak out. Like, no one can be hurt right now. Like, no one. Or I will blow a gasket. Like, this cannot be happening. And then, <laughs> I felt like it was in a movie. Like, all I see is just, like, the sirens just, like, spinning. And all of a sudden, I see, like, this guy run through. And I realized it was my neighbor. He was running to his mother, so he was running, like, right past me. And then all of a sudden, he just stops. And he's like, you, okay, you. Like, you know, he just saw me, like, in a random, like, moment. Like, we are just standing across the street and just sees me and let me tell you I smell disgusting I look like a wreck um I felt like a wreck I felt weak I felt crazy and you know my neighbors let me tell you my neighbors is just in his boxers so that was really awkward um so all I see is my neighbor who I've known remind you since I was three years old just in his boxers I've never seen him with that little clothes, and he, well, he, one time I saw him in bathing suit, but, like, I don't remember that that clearly, um, and he, like, he comes up to me, like, you know, casually, and just hugs me, and all I'm thinking is, oh my god, you're almost naked, and I'm really sorry, I smell like a horse, like, <laughs> I felt so bad for him, because I smelled so bad, and I knew I did. And apparently he was almost, like, he was, like, going to the shower, too, when the alarm went off, so no one was in the boxers, but, um, it was just awkward. And then, all of a sudden, he says to me, he's like, my house is on fire, bye, and he just, like, runs. <laughs> and I love me tell you, that made me feel a little bit better, because me and my neighbor are just very awkward together. I love my neighbor very much, but it was just weird. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite memories in the world, though. Um... It's been very awkward with my neighbor. And then my friends decide to scream, you know, from my house that my neighbor's hot. That was really weird. Like, that was super weird. Um, like, your neighbor's hot. And, like, I'm just like, if he heard you, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> like, uh, Like, the thing is, the kid's kind of like my estranged brother. Like, like, nonetheless, he's kind of like a brother to me. And, like, I don't look at him as hot. I look at his face, but I do not absorb it like a normal teenage girl. My friend is starting to think that I don't go for guys. So, <laughs> but, yeah, so apparently my friend wants my neighbor. It's really awkward. Um, but yeah, so that's my story. Um, I hope you like it to my friend. I hope you actually laughed at me a little bit because it was kind of funny. Besides me nearly, like, peeing myself and dying. Um... And we were screaming cross street the whole entire time, by the way. I just, when I freak out like that, I need to, like, scream and let it go. Um, because my friends were just kept kicking me. We just kept kicking each other in the ass and, like, running and chasing each other in my driveway. And my neighbors were looking at me and going insane. I love my neighbors. Alright, so, I'll see you later. And thank you for watching my 15-minute story. Bye.